So what's going on? We'll do one of these uh, morning vlogs that you guys caught up with what's going on around here. Uh, got you on the stand, so I'll have to walk you around. Here's the uh, beautiful day we're having here in Florida. It's gonna be in the 80s today. We got the old uh, Chevrolet six liter out here. My mother just wants to come out and go in the Nova, I'm sure. But uh, we got a throttle body issue on this. Keeps going into uh, limp mode, throwing a code. So uh, there's no throttle cable on this. It's all uh, fly-by-wire. I attempted to uh, clean it a little bit, and uh, more than likely, we're gonna have to replace that. So I'm gonna try to uh, clear the codes out of there with the uh, super tuner and uh, see if the cleaning helped. And if not, uh, pick up the throttle body for this. I noticed that the air cleaner is really dirty, so I might have to change that too. And uh, working on the thing, trying to get this done. Got the old shot tomorrow, so I'm gonna lose a day. I wanna have this done. Got the uh, rocker arms ready to go on. Got those out of the soaker. They're looking like brand new. You can actually see the nuts now. And uh, got all the uh, baked crud off of them. You can see this uh, motor is a little crusty in here. A little crusty. Uh, I don't think they change oil a whole lot. We'll do some back-to-back -back oil changes and try to uh, clean it up a little bit. I had to defunct the rockers because they were just uh, bad. So we got the tranny here. Originally we were gonna try to reseal this. Uh, it's not a 388 like they were hoping it was. They sort of want to freeway uh, drive this. Uh, it's got a reverse issue. Uh, I've got it this far apart to uh, reseal the rear half that was leaking. However, the gearbox is weeping a little bit. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and pop the gearbox out Hope I don't find too many surprises in there, but uh, I'm feeling like I should look in there. Uh, we got the uh, nose cone over here. You can see it's uh, super shiny there on the uh, bearing surface. That's where it sits over the bearing. And uh, the bearing more than likely is moving, squirming, pushing on that nose cone. So uh, gonna look into that. I know the nut is super loose on the pinion. So I want to tighten that up. I don't want to do that without going in there and making sure there's not a shim missing. But this is hand tight. And uh, so let's go ahead and pull this gearbox out and see what's in here. Uh, I know reverse is uh, bad. Jumps out of reverse. And uh, reverse is probably one of the weakest links in these. I got a couple gears out for illustration purposes over here. Here's the reverse gear. This is the uh, one that's on the gear stack, right under first there. There's uh, no synchronizer for first. And uh, it works off the same principle. It has the dogs that locks it in. Here's the uh, idler gear. And you can see this one's pretty beat up. Pretty rounded off. Just like that. But uh, hopefully this one will just need an idler or something easy we can go in there and uh, take care of. You gotta hold it in uh, reverse. So we'll see if we can figure out what's going on with that. We'll reseal the uh, gearbox, and of course we'll retorque this pinion nut to the correct 140 foot pounds, and uh, make no guarantees on this because uh, once this nut comes loose and you drive it for a while, and uh, can cause some damage. There should be a shim here. Get a shim next. And get a shim. It's very important that you have uh, all your shims in the correct order. This one's clearance for the uh, main shaft gear over there. So keep all that stuff in a safe place. I hang it right on the uh, stand. Next thing that you're going to have to do to pull the gearbox out is separate the uh, output shaft from the box. There's a snap ring right here. 
this can be very tricky. I'll try to do it on camera, but uh, it might make a fool of me. Mm-hmm. Because I am blind. Could not see. Take your time. Getting it in the hole, get a good bite on it, and you gotta pull it open. Pull it back like so. Now you unscrew the uh, main shaft. Slide this back, unscrew this. Pull your idler gear out, and you can pull your little uh, stud out of here. So it holds the two shafts together. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. we'll take our uh, 13s off next. I don't know if you got any of that or not. So, We got our nose cone off, obviously. Next, we're gonna pop our uh, 13s off. We'll have a washer under each nut. Push this gearbox out of the uh, case. Let's see what we got going on here. I didn't want to get uh, this deep into it, but man, I'm right here, and uh, might as well look. If I don't look, it'll. Uh, bad things will happen for me not checking it out. So anyway. Next, we're gonna uh, get in here and push the gearbox out. There is a tool for this. However, I don't have it. So if I use a piece of wood and a big hammer. Seems to work pretty good. There's a combination of ways you can do it. Take this hammer and put it on the pinion. And I take my uh, pry bar at the back of the case. I want to make sure you get the hammer nice and centered on the pinion. Like so. Oh, it's good and tight, this box. Good and tight. There it goes. Like so. It pulls out like that. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. All right. So here we are. Let's uh, sit down here and take a look at this. Here's a, uh, this is a pretty weak tranny. You know, the fine, fine tooth gears. Here's our reverse. This will be our culprit. This is sound a little fork right there. Very little fork that holds the uh, idler gear. It just plugs in right here. And 
here's our gear. You can see it's pretty mangled. Sorry, here's our gear. You can see the teeth are pretty uh pretty beat up. So let me see if I can find uh idler gear, reverser. Reverse doesn't look too bad on the shaft. And that gear's not too bad. Sorry for the camera work. There you go, I don't know if you can see that. So we might be able to get away with just an idler on this one. Mm-hmm. The other reason it's probably uh, popping out is because that nut was so loose. It wasn't letting it lock into the uh, ring. So we'll clean it up, get a gasket on here, dig up some parts, and uh, snap this back together. Try to get this back together today. That's what's going on here. Uh-huh. Like I said, I got the doctors tomorrow. I got Big Eric in town, so I'm gonna try to knock this one down today. I got the uh, front brakes uh, back together last night. Got the bearings back, got the drums on there. Gotta do my sway bar bushings and uh, finish up the tranny. That's pretty much all I have left. So let me see if I can uh, dig up some parts for this. Clean this bad boy up and uh, get her back in the car. There we go. She's pretty dirty in there. Pretty dirty. We can make her better. We can clean it. Make it like now. Hey, you're in your pajamas. Got you on video. Come on, really? <laughs> All right, you guys have a good day.